back. I'm tweeting about it right now on the on Twitter. I'm telling the world. We're going into game three. Blitz, Curry, Puckett. He's a doctor. I'm not. But we're both commentators Ooh. today. And and Dr. Curry, mm -hmm. game out is Blitz. The map, great. In your mind, who has the advantage here after watching Domination and after watching Search and Destroy? You know what? I, I said Fuse and take it at the Search and Destroy, and you're just like, yeah, nah, yeah, Curse will do it. And I, I, I was caught red face. They ended up not taking it out. So I, I don't want to give another prediction and get caught out on it, but Curse, they just uh, they look too strong. They I honestly love just rooting look too against strong. you today. I'm going with Fuse oh, on really? this one. The way that you really? saw them sneak by and get A time and time again on that second side of uh, the yeah. Dom, I think we could see some sneaky caps. However, all the momentum in Curse's favor. It's going to be tough for Fuse. I hope this one goes down to the wire, and we'll see who is going to be our player to watch. Attach has had some hot games so far, but it was a team effort, according to you, in that last one. Who's your player to watch from each squad? From each squad? Uh, it, thing two, from Fuse, just because of how well and that sneaky factor that he had in the domination, and then attached from the curse. Like, uh, do I need to say any more? If you guys have been watching, you would have just seen him or heard him go absolutely big in the search and destroy and the domination. I wouldn't be surprised if he dropped some big numbers, especially in the blitz, but I'm gonna have to give it to Thing2 from Fuse and Attach from Curse. Well, Attach is going with his Amtar. Looks like Miyagi is our host, and there is all four members of this Curse lineup. Everyone sticking with the tar here. Let's see what's going on with Fuse. Vector out. Ooh. And it looks like we got a Bison in the hands of Trojan. That could be bad. That and could Thing be bad. 2 loves spawning as far away from his teammates as possible. <laughs> He's going to be going with a Bison as well. So a little bit change-ups here in the weaponry. Emtar always known to be the favorite here on Freight. Mm -hmm. I want to see how good is the Vector, and most importantly, how good is that Bison in the hands of Think 2 It's scary. It's like watching a horror movie, what he does with it. It's just, ugh. But you know what, Pocket? This series has been going so close in all the game modes. I got people from Australia. They're tuning in to watch, you know. You got Aussies? You actually, I got Aussies. I got my boy Rampage. He was at Champs. You know, the guy with the oh, baby yeah. face for Team Immunity. Yeah, he's watching. He's uh, he's giving his predictions to me in Skype. He, he feels as though this curse squad, they're really strong. He's actually played against Miyagi. Trident T1 Dodders, they played with him before. Well, he actually played on an Australian connection and absolutely owned an entire <laughs> nation because he's just that kind of guy. But thing two, off the brim, he already just picked up a double, and his team, Fuse, looking very strong. All right, so Modi's going to get caught from the right side, going back over to Trojan here. Early map control goes in favor of Curse, but Trojan pre-firing that door after the first kill will not be able to connect on anything. Thing two gets sniped on the left side. Historify out in the middle of the map is going to get caught with his pants down. Everyone falling here from Fuse, as that was just the Miyagi show. The Miyagi show. Is that what we're calling it now? And Croster, because Croster, he's actually making something happen. He was three for one. Now Mud Dog, last one alive. He's in the middle of the map. Now he did pick off one kill. Ventry towards the opposite side of the tracks, but Historify just pulls his pants down, gives him a spanking there. Not what you would have expected. And the guys from Fuse, fresh off that close respawn, they're hunting for this capture zone here, Pucket. I'm telling Mud Dog that he had his pants pulled down. Curry said it. Uh, Mud Dog on your screen once again, and I'm really curious about this uh, red dot attachment that he's rocking here. Don't really see too many red dots on it, and all Fuse comes swarming through. Modi's gonna get the cap. Looks like Historify still camping the spawns. Mud Dog goes down, and here is a second point if he can stay alive for two more seconds. Oh, he can't. Oh, wait, no, he did. Yeah. Oh, what am I talking about? Oh, I, yeah. I was watching the wrong person. I'm there's, watching the wrong team. There's here. caps everywhere. Meanwhile, this is Trojan oh. shutting doors, keeping them pinned in. Everyone doing their role here for this Fuse squad. I like what we're seeing. Here's a third capture coming in from Trojan. Trojan, he's an animal right now. He's got more captures to his name than anyone does. Still his early days, only been two minutes, but he's four for four and two. Now, you did say Fuse, they were a sneaky team in the domination. That's what they're bringing to this blitz. And Trojan, he did spot a play on that top red. He would have given the call out. He's looking to make his third time here. Triple, oh, he does get it. That's going to be three times luck for him right there. And he's on a five point streak right now, Pocket. The man at Trojan, he's got the rest of his teammates on his back right now. Teams are trading captures. You just heard three of them going. It's now four to two 
in favor of this Fuse Squad. Think to the only man up. He is going to be camping out his base. All four members of Curse pushing forward. Mud Dog into the action. Won't be able to get a kill. Attached now rotating around for that front door. Pre-firing. Doesn't see anything. He's going to be able to slide in. But no, Modi. 11-5. Modi steps up with a big goal line kill. And that will keep it a two-point advantage here for Fuse. Um, can, can I just... Who's Modi? Because this isn't the same guy we've been watching in this series. He hasn't done too much. All of a sudden, he's 12 for 5 right now. Oh, nearly made it 13 for 5. But Think 2 was right there to get the capture zone. I'm not sure what's got into the minds of Curse right now because they're not playing the same game which they were before. As right now, Fuse, they're playing out of their skins. Maybe Blitz is their strongest game mode or Freight, but they're playing so well. The guys at Curse, they're desperately trying to lock down their base. But the pressure that Fuse are applying on them, they're just starting to crumble. And I was going to give all the credit to the Bisons that we're seeing from Fuse, but then I switched back over to Modi and realized he's doing it all with the standard MTAR. So just solid teamwork, communication, and shots here from this Fuse lineup. However, they have let one player sneak through, stop the second one, but there is a player behind enemy lines. Will he go for the rally? I believe it's going to be Miyagi, and here he goes. Oh. It's a two-point game once again. You know, I was wondering why my boy Rampage was sending me his predictions about this Blitz game, and he basically said, give it to Curse mainly because of Miyagi, because he basically destroyed him on a US connection, on an Australian connection, should I say. And with him on host right now, 12 for 9, he's the only one showing any life for this Curse team and keeping them in this game. But as I say that, they've gained control of their base, they're starting to get some good pushes out, and they've managed to only make it a two-point difference game right now, Pumpkin. You see the kills from Historify. He's going to need a lot more than that. Nice two-piece here as he turns and takes down Attach. Two down here for Curse. The pressure still coming out of white. And it looks like everyone on Fuse now doubling back, playing very defensive before pushing forward. Historify has an opening for an easy cap. Historify. Oh. Can he get a buzzer beater here? Oh, no. Well, my dog. My dog, my, my dog had other ideas. You know, he's just like, yeah, nah. But you know what I'm starting to predict here? You know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling a bit of a vibe here, Puckett. Hashtag comeback. Hashtag yeah. comeback? Hashtag comeback. Do Hashtag Puckett's it? predictions are never wrong. There's no comeback oh. happening. Just two oh, points. Really? This is Fuse. You know what? If you don't get that prediction right, I'm going to hold it against you. Are I you? will. Be yeah, I will. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm good with this. Ooh. Bang, bang. Shots fired. Bang, bang. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Two-point advantage for Fuse entering the second side. Who has the easier side on this map, in your opinion, Mr. Curry? Oh, that's that's hard. That's hard, Pocket. That's, oh, you know what? I I got to give it to, so, but, oh, I thought I don't know Curse what, had the easier side, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, that's what I would have said, because Owens is really hard to lock down, mainly because, as I call it, the Batman rail, where guys just, you know, Superman and Batman off it into the capture zone. Okay. I find that's really hard to defend, because there's so many places that they can come from. It's very, you know, mechanical in how you have to defend it. And now Curse, they're going to have to, you know, have that in the back of their mind and fuse. They could easily run away with this one. Big kill here by Attach. Won't be able to get the second one. That's Trojan causing issues. He's cut down from across the map by Mud Dog. And now you see Modi switching over to the Vector. Let's see what he is up to for Fuse. Playing some base defense off the break. They know they're getting outslayed. He's going to need to come up with two big kills. A player from the front and side all pinching in at once. Oh, he does get the kill, but there's one up high. No one predicted. Oh, Thing too. He's got some Spidey sensors there. Croster was up there. They're going to trade kill for kill, and they managed to clear out their base there. Great defensive work by Fuse. Got to give credit where it's due. They knew that they had to hang back a little. Worked out quite well for them. Now Modi on your screens. Uh, damn, Attach just melts him Ooh. in a second there. Let's show, let's show Attach some love right now. He's starting to heat up here in the second half of Blitz Pocket. Attach trying to squeeze in, gets an assist. However, there was a sneaky capture that just went in. And you're going to see both teams scoring now. 10-8 is our score. Attach trying to make it a one-point game. Not going to happen. The knife cuts him down. More kills being scored in the middle of the map. Modi playing base defense for Fuse. Meanwhile, Thing 2 on the opposite side trying to go for another capture. Can he extend it to three points? He can Oh, three-point lead was three minutes. You know, that's a minute capture. They can get back into this. I'm looking for Miyagi on the curse side to make some big plays. He's starting to let them down a little bit. He, he's doing a lot of objective side base work, which you don't expect from him. You know, Puck, he's that main sleigh role. 
for this Kursarin team. The fact that he's got the most objective points, it makes me kind of question what's going on in the communication with Curse Orange right now. Like Blitz, you know, it is understandable if you're getting kills and you need a capstone, just run it in. But the fact that he isn't getting as many kills as you'd expect, it makes me wonder. And Mud Dog just casually getting a two piece right there. And a specialist bonus. I don't know if he caught that. So he is a super soldier at the moment. Let's see what he can do with it. Just a five point spree here for him. Ooh. So not going for the greediest of perks. My dog in a spot. One more inside. Beer will oh. not get the kill. He is cut down. No luck. Three dead here for Curse. Remains a one point game. But Curse cutting that three point lead down to one. Nice second side. Two minutes, 18 seconds left to work with. I was holding my breath there for Mud Dog. I was hoping he'd go a little bit further. Miyagi, he's going to play some base defense right now. He knows there's going to be a few guys from the Fuse team pushed up. And you know what, Pocket? It's a one point game. You said there would be a comeback. I'm going to put the money where the mouth is. Curse, they got so much momentum right now. They're going to ride off it, even though they are on the quote unquote bad side. They're doing so well right now. Miyagi did just get shut down out the front there. And they just leveled up the scores. Less than two minutes, 11 apiece. This is going to be a close one. 105 seconds left on the clock. Historify trying to stay alive on this left side. They have not been able to cap nearly as easily as they were earlier. But look at this. Three players from Curse pushing up, but Trojan doing the smart thing, just getting those trades. 12-12 game in the last 90 seconds. Oh, this is good. If we see another repeat of the domination, I don't even know what to believe because it's been so close the whole series except for the search and destroy near the end there. The guys over at Fuse are playing so well. Look at Modi. Yep. He's one kill away from dropping a third. You know, he's going to get it. He just got it then on Croaster. 30 bomb to his name. If he goes off, we could see a 40 bomb. I wouldn't be surprised. He's playing so well right now. He has two captures to his name. But Trojan, that OBJ player for the guys over at Fuse, seven captures to his name. Without him, they wouldn't be in this game. You know, and while Trojan's been running laps, you have to give huge credit it to think to and Modi their two defensive kills in the base made it possible for them to get out to a lead once again think to continuing on a three kill tear trying to get into the base one more player to beat here's the shots we'll be able to go through two point advantage in the last 40 seconds fuse staying alive can they force game four oh. Curse, they got to go and hyperdrive right now. There is a player pushed up, but Modi just went clutch. He got two players on his own capture zone. I'm safe to say he's just won his team this game. He's all he's got to do is just defend the middle of the map there, but the guys from Curse, they've put it into hyperdrive right now. They are pushing so hard. That's an actual four down for Fuse. They got to go big on the defense right now. Look at that. Miyagi with a triple, trying to get the capture zone uh -oh. in there. Curse attached. Oh my God, Puckett. Eight seconds left. It looks like they might have just done this. They've clutched it out. Fuse, I don't even know how they managed to keep this one that close. 15-14 is the final score. Just a one cap difference. 34-24 from Modi, a difference oh, wow. maker. And Thing 2 on the defensive end, doing everything in his power while Trojan was running those seven captures. What a team effort here from Fuse. I called it. Two for two, Mr. Curry. Just pointing it out. Uh, we're going into game number four next. I'll let you get the prediction first. How are you feeling now? I don't... I, I said come back. Miyagi let me down. Just... I'm I'm, I'm a bit salty right now, Pocket. I'm just... Look, look at this. Historify went 12-27 and 27 and still got the W. Take a look at the stats one more time here. 34-24 and 24 from Modi. Historify having a terrible game but a great performance as a squad to fight that one through. On the other side, pretty even in the stats columns. In fact, Curse definitely outslaying their opponents. It's hey, the sneaky caps from Trojan made the difference at the end. That's interesting. Like, I am looking at that scoreboard, and everyone from Curse dropped more than more 23 and more kills. So they were slaying, but they weren't getting those captures. And as you said, that sneaky player, Trojan, easily... Maybe we could. Do you want to give him maybe the MVP award for that Blitz one? Uh, that one's too yeah. tough to call. I don't think his sneaky plays would have mattered if the defense wasn't as strong. That was just a team effort. Uh, Thing two and Modi doing the slant. Guys, we're going to commercial break. It looks like we're switching host one more time. If I can't get into the host, I'll be looking for an, uh, another game. Dr. Curry, you try and stay in this Ooh. one. We'll be right back.